All right, real quick, this is where the scripts are for doing heavy, ground heavy maps. Uh, no editor, and it's going to affect settings and scripts. So scripts, this is the actual script. <clears throat> when you look in there, there's... Uh, whoops, what the hell happened there? Oh, I had the wrong one, sorry. Make ground heavy. <clears throat> I got some verbiage in there to tell you in case you forget, but um, the one that's active right now is this one, and of course these two, because this is this mo render mode four is color mode for the RGB channel. <clears throat> so um, those two run, so they all run in sequence, and then it generates this. Um, and right now it's set at 48, 2048. You could go as high as 8192. I don't recommend it unless having problems and it's a way to buck around see if you can f fix it or do something the uh 4096 that's pushing it but 2048 seems to be a sweet spot and then just reduce it to 1024 in photoshop <clears throat> but anyway um that would probably get you the best quality uh in a 1024 by doing it that way i'm guessing um 4096 is quite a ways down you're probably gonna have a lot of loss but anyway, that seems to work rather well. I mean, if you want, you can go cheap and go to 1024 from the get-go and save the Photoshop work. But I, I think this is probably going to yield the best result. So <clears throat> uh, that's the script. And then settings, you want to uh, add either update these files or uh, at least add this to yours. That way it's available just like the uh, scripts. Anywho, let's load up Ramagan and Day and then uh, <coughs> we'll uh, generate one. And then we can go right through till, till I play it and show you the result. Uh, Ramagan does not have a ground hemi currently at all. Come on, got to click the button, dummy. There we go. So, you'll have to salvage the map, because at minimum, you're going to have to have the color textures in there. So, uh, you really don't care about ground, uh, the ground hemi, or the yeah, ground, blah, blah. ground properties con info, or, I mean, unless you're doing other stuff along with doing this. And then, you know, game, game modes and... AI doesn't need to be in there in the editor folder either if you don't want to. So, if uh, we can get it to load with pictures, which I just salvaged, I already did that, so you know how to do that. All right, so boat to China. Here we go. It's our tonight. I'll try to catch myself up and get all the maps I'm not done this with that I already did the other shit with. Anywho, so. Here's our map, right? Um, I noticed a couple of things. I might have, I might have to generate terrain light maps again in this, only because I found like certain like light poles and stuff like that that did not have shadows. Actually, noticing. Yeah, look at this. No light maps on objects either. Look at those signs. Oh God. 
Well, anyway, this looks like it needs a relight map. If you want it good. If you really want it nice. Well, anyway. Yeah, this is looking a lot like... Let me see some. Yeah, it appears the sun direction's right, but it's like there's no object light maps at all in this. Or if there are, it's very, very few. Hmm. No proof is in the pudding. Right there. There's nothing on that bridge, nothing on... Like, that's a, all in shadow. Yeah. What the fuck? Anywho. So all you'd have to do once you had all those files in there and whatnot. <clears throat> go to custom action, hit this guy. And then we go down to the C drive or... Whatever. Well, let's see here, that'll work. And then, uh, disregard these. These are just old ones that I had. I'm going to delete them because I keep forgetting about them. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Go away. And these two. Continue. And that one. They're leftovers I had in there from testing. Anyways, this is the one that is active, so... I'll load that up, and that's what it looks like. Again, if the wa if the water level is really close to the surface and it flickers when you get in the editor, it's going to generate it here. So you may have to, depending on the map, if you have that issue, you're going to have to lower the water a bit until it goes away, enough to go away to generate a good one. So, while we're here... Take a look at the alpha, and that's that's all our beautiful shadows. I'm just gonna resize this. It's gonna be a 1024. Just save on RAM usage and stuff for textures. My cubic sharper. Okay. Oop. And that looks pretty pretty decent. <coughs> all right. If you're really worried about the jaggies, you could put a little bit of a Gaussian blur on it. If I, I mean, I don't know if it's critical to go that far, but... Anyway. So then you're going to save this as... Get the wrong map. This one. Ground Hemi. Oh, I got it open. <laughs> File, save as, do that again, damn it, I can never do a tutorial right the first time, anyway, here we go, and you want DXT5, no mint maps, save, close that out, don't need it, you can look for any artifacts that you can find in the uh, alpha channel, just look it over good, if it looks decent, good enough. All right, and then that RGB channel in the in the texture—that's what controls light and dark on the soldiers when they're on, you know, their color, so to speak, the reflective color from the ground and the environment. That's what makes them bright or dark or whatever. Aside from walking under shadows, they darken under the shadows. But like, say we have a couple of night maps where the soldiers look too bright for the map it's more than likely that it needs to be darkened anyway so that's done just kill this uh, go back to the level whoops eh, go that way is faster okay and ditch that in there and we can load it up and test it And it should, uh, wherever those light map shadows are in that alpha channel, that should be where it's crossing over 
Bad company presents. Between shadowed and not. When you walk under them, so. And if that works, great. And what we'll do is. Satellite. Likely gonna have to freaking light map that whole map. <coughs> Which. Really kind of sucks. I don't know. If <laughs> I don't want to do all those. I'm almost wondering if it's all of them. So far, the first two are <laughs> that way. Alright, so we're Morgan Day. Go in. Oh, the light object light maps are okay. I forgot there's no raw light maps in that map. They're not going to show in the editor. Duh. Never mind. I'm a moron. <laughs> this map's probably okay. That freaked me out. That's all. I've been thinking about this shit too, way too much lately. And there we go. Now we got shadows on the soldier, which we didn't have before. I'm going to walk into this shadow. Oop. And I'm shadowed. That one, I'm shadowed. Walk into this one, I'm shadowed. It's working. It's working, it's working. Although... Yeah, that's that's been light mapped. But this... Some of these posts... They're, they're traffic lights, some of this stuff is... It's almost as if I need to at least do terrain light maps. I think everything else is okay. Walked out. In. Shadowed. Shadowed. Let's go in a building or two. Make sure. Go over here. Yep. It's actually working quite nicely. Inside there. It's dark. Dark, 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 dark. And light. Shadows on the ground. Yeah, there's no shadow on the tree. But well, maybe there is. Might be just a light settings. I don't know. Pretty weird. <clears throat> I want to find another tree just to prove that. Parachute key to pull the parachute ripcord. Oh, no. oh, yeah, oh, yeah, hands to heal nearby players automatically. Anyway, you get the idea. I just figured I'd make this so you could check it out. I think that one's going to be okay. <laughs> 